This is something I feel like I could really help people with who may be dealing with the same thing or may just be kind of ignorant on the subject. If you have a close family member or friend, then this way you could be a little bit more sympathetic towards them so they feel like you understand because now maybe you will. I usually try to make sure that you guys can see my alligator when I film, but that's just not happening today. Hey alligators, it's Ellie Hardesty. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. If you're not, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe because I post all the time and that way you're notified. I don't know what my hand was doing just there, but it's four in the morning right now. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit like but I woke up, I couldn't get back to sleep, so I decided what better to do than film. Today's video is something that I've been wanting to talk more in depth on my channel for a while now. And if you guys have seen my, my teacher bullied me for having ADD story time, if you haven't, I'll link it below. I do touch on this like a lot. I talk about how it's affected me and just to backtrack real quick, if you don't know what ADD or ADHD is, it's basically the same thing. I could pretty much put it into one category. You can go ahead and look it up if you want to know like the medical definition. That's not what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about personally how it's affected me and my insecurities having to do with ADD or ADHD because Honestly, I can say that it is the one thing I still get really self-conscious or defensive about to this day. I also want to note that like with any disability, there's a whole spectrum of ADD. And I think for the sake of this video, I'm just going to say ADD, not ADD slash ADHD. Well, that means there's people who have it a little bit where they don't necessarily need to be medicated for it because it doesn't affect them as heavily. Like I take medication for it. I've been on Concerta for years. It's basically like Adderall. It's the only thing that's ever worked for me. But then there are people who have it way worse than I do. And I can't even imagine what they actually have to go through because it is like hell for me. And they've been in special education for it etc so no matter how bad you have it it sucks I'm just gonna be real it's something that a lot of people deal with so you may have ADD and not even realize it until after you watch this video don't self-diagnose though okay like see a doctor or something if you really do think you have it and then go from there the number one misconception I feel like people have about people with ADD is that it only affects us when it comes to things like school this is something that's affected me with driving with friendships like social situations a perfect example of this a video i did a while back on my channel you guys have probably all seen it if you're subscribed it's confronting my ex with the other woman i did it with angie and when i filmed that video i actually hadn't taken my medication that morning in the video you can tell when i filmed the video when i edited the video i didn't notice anything but when i posted it there were so many comments of people saying you know, are you speaking in tongues? Like you're speaking so quickly. There's literally one part and maybe I'm speaking quickly now. I don't know because that's the thing. I'm not really aware of it. And that's why it makes me kind of insecure. I don't want people to think that I'm rude or obnoxious or I just don't have any consideration for other people because there was a lot of people who commented saying, why does she keep interrupting the blonde girl or why is she zoning out into space and like moving her mouth like that? Because it was actually scary. There's one part or a couple times throughout the video where Angie's speaking and I am just zoned out. Like, and I'm like moving my mouth like that. I don't know what I was doing. I just couldn't even pay attention for like 0.5 seconds if I wasn't speaking. I literally had to comment saying, hey, if I'm speaking too quickly, slow down the audio. In YouTube like there's a way to do that I had to learn how to do that and literally put a comment saying hey like click the little bar and like put 0.5 so it goes in half and then I was talking at normal speed when people did that so when it comes to college as of lately I've seriously been contemplating dropping out I couldn't even tell you how many times I've called my mom in the middle of the night crying and she's had to talk me into staying with school sticking it out till the end of the semester and I will be finishing school I will keep on doing it because honestly I've already come this far and I'm stubborn so like I don't want to give up on it and I am not stupid I want to point that out right now I'm a little bit offended at how surprised people are when they get to know me and they realize that I'm actually smart so that's the thing I had to deal with a lot in high school people would literally make fun of me like little jokes here and there but they would be like really cruel about it like people I wasn't friends with at all and they would just like snicker like if I raised my hand in class I've heard people talk about social anxiety and I've always sort of thought hey I have that but only when it comes to school 
And then I realized that's probably a thing. I don't know if there's a name for it, but I definitely have some sort of serious school anxiety because going to school sometimes literally makes me shake. I get so anxious about it. I am afraid of failure. That's another reason why I will not drop out of college. I'm so scared of failing my classes. I'm so scared of not being able to transfer or graduate or this and that. And it really stresses me out. Two things that really stuck with me from high school, which may not be the most positive things, but it is what it is. And I can definitely like, work through these things. For one, it's test anxiety that I've developed from teachers who haven't let me finish tests, who have given me a really hard time when it came to tests. And I was I was supposed to be allowed more time on tests. I had a 504, which is a legal document that gives you accommodations if you have a learning disability. Because for me, I could stare at a test question for like an hour. I could read it 10 times. Maybe an hour is a little bit dramatic, but I could read it 10 times, have no idea what I just read, especially if it's kind of lengthy at all, like if it's more than a sentence, like, yeah, good luck. I'm going to forget what I just read halfway through. I don't retain information well, like in the moment, maybe like later on I'll remember it, but right then and there, like, it's really, really difficult for me. So yeah, there were teachers who I felt like literally tried to fail me. So if you guys want to see that story time, I talk like way more about it. So I'm not going to get too much into it in this video. The second thing I really took from high school was that I can't ask questions in class because I will get laughed at because my questions are going to look stupid. And maybe some of the time, like I could understand that because maybe the teacher already said it and I just like didn't hear it because you know, ADD, I can't pay attention. And it's not like I'm texting or doing other things. Like I'm sitting there staring at the teacher and I will leave the class having no idea what just happened. Like I'll have to go up to the teacher's desk after class and say, hey, like in college I've done this and honestly, it's embarrassing. I hate doing it. And that's why I get really insecure about it. I'll have to be like, hey, I have ADD really bad. I know I was sitting here like for a whole entire class, but could you please kind of summarize what we just talked about, like what is happening? And I hate having to do that because I feel disrespectful, like, oh, I wasn't paying attention when you were explaining things. And I don't feel like they should have to repeat themselves, but that's the type of like special attention or accommodations I need from people, like in classroom settings and things like that. Another thing that it has affected me with, driving. I haven't made a driving mishaps video yet. I've been meaning to, but I have told you guys a lot, like, hey, I'm a bad driver. This happened because I'm a bad driver. My friends wouldn't let me drive because I suck at driving. So a big reason for that is because I can't pay attention if I'm distracted at all. Like literally, there's a squirrel on the side of the road Good luck. I will like drive off the road. I've had so many close calls with driving like that. So I really cannot be distracted. Even if someone's trying to have a conversation with me in the passenger seat, it's kind of dangerous sometimes for me. I really need to be fully engaged on the road ahead of me. And that's another insecurity because people make fun of me for being a bad driver. And like, I get it like, ha ha, oh, women are bad drivers. I was such a bad driver. And sometimes I feel like people take it a little bit too far where I'm just like, okay, chill. Like, I know I'm not as good of a driver as you, but guess what? That's because I literally have the attention span of like a freaking five-year-old. So another thing would be YouTube. I don't know if you guys realize how long it takes me to film sometimes. I've been sitting here for quite a while talking actually because I feel like my thoughts are just all over the place. When I'm telling stories, I will seriously sometimes sit here for hours telling it and it'll turn out to be like a 20 minute video, but I don't just like skip through that happily. Like some days if I'm in a really focused mood, I can, but if I'm distracted at all, whatever, I will forget things as I'm telling the story. So I will stop mid-sentence. Like anyone who's like been at my house while I've been filming, like I've been sitting over in the living room or something, they can hear me do this. I will just like be telling a story and then I'll be like, what was I just saying? Like, oh. and then I'll forget what I was just saying like before I like froze in the middle of my sentence. So then I'll just like basically restart from the whole beginning of the video. And then when I was playing water polo and someone would pass me the ball, I would kind of freeze like wait what am I supposed to do with this again <laughs> like I don't know a lot of the time it just takes me a minute and it sucks because it makes me feel so stupid all the time and I hate feeling like that because I know I'm not stupid although like to be completely honest over the years I feel like my ADD has gotten progressively worse it's become a lot harder on me so sometimes I feel like I am getting stupid on days where I forget to take my medication or it gets really late and I'm not able to. 
it honestly sucks because I hate to think about it in such a negative light, but I'm able to get pretty much nothing done. Like, I am a potato. I will just sit here and I will forget things right as I remember them, if that makes sense. So I will think, oh, I need to go grocery shopping. I stand up, wait, what did I need to do? And that'll happen like 10 times to the point where it's like, oh, now all the stores are closed. So <laughs> it really, really sucks if I don't take my medication. Even on days where I do, I'm not fixed, I'm not cured. I don't not have ADD anymore. Like it's still there. It's still something that I have to really try hard to focus and like, Remember, okay, Allie, in high school, my mom and I would do math homework together. She's a math teacher, so she's really good at that. And honestly, if I didn't have her help, I don't know how I would have passed math. Because math is one of those subjects where you have to, like, learn a concept and understand it. And after I actually understood it, which would take me a minute, then I was very good at it and I was fine. We would sit at the kitchen table for, like, hours on end. I'm not kidding, until, like, midnight. And then I'd wake up early before school and we'd keep on working on it. Sometimes I'd have to go in at lunch and like sit with my teacher and do the homework and it was just really frustrating for me because I wasn't one of those kids who could just do it the period before class and turn it in. Like I spent hours on homework in high school or actually even middle school. When I'm really thinking about this, a lot of this was middle school. That's just sad. They don't even, middle school doesn't even count for anything and I wasted so much of my youth doing homework because I actually needed someone to sit down with me and like help me concentrate and like speak to me how to do the assignment because I can't interpret instructions sometimes, like it doesn't make sense to me. I need someone to sit there and say, hey, this is what you do. I have this one class and a lot of it's online, like half the class is online, it's a hybrid class in college, and the teacher will write out literally like two pages of instructions, and I have cried pretty much every week doing her homework. I have been so frustrated where I just cried, and not even doing the assignment, like reading the freaking instructions, because I can't understand them. I had to call the teacher first week of class, that is embarrassing. Like, I had to literally call her because I kept emailing her and I couldn't understand what we were supposed to do. Leave a comment if this did speak to you and if you would like me to elaborate more on one specific thing I touched on today for like a part two. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and you made it to the end of this video, then literally what are you doing with your life? Like, just hit subscribe, okay? And follow my social media too, that way we can interact and be like real friends, you know? Not just YouTube friends, like we'll be real friends. So I have my Snapchat, all that good stuff linked and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators, bye.